Mr. Ari Amamiya, FD Goodness. Yeah, Integra, pull the crowd. Oh, maybe truck of the show. All of them sporting the new Driftline Arrow. A crazy, crazy one-off car. It's like every color, wild. One of the best liveries of all time. Tokyo Auto Salon 2024. Let's get inside and check it out. Be on the lookout for separate GR86 BRZ videos. I anticipate there'll be a lot of them here, so check the channel for that. It'll be uploaded in a separate video. Yeah, be in sports, baby. Always looking forward to their booth. They don't do the whole like online reveal beforehand. It's like always just dropped at the show. So we got a R34, or is this a converted GTT? Got their new Bride Brid being sports seats there. Wide body, I don't know, GTT based G R34? And then next to that, there we go, being sports with the GR86. In the Valino booth, check out the GR86 video for a look at the Silk Blaze GR86. A lot more on it in that video. Just talked to Neil from Juicebox for You, so really cool. That's cool bumping to him. Super cool, dude. Yeah, real pleasure. Drift OG's D Max here with the JZX100 Chaser. Not traditional D Max blue. D Max on the door, though. Proper pro level car. Check out the rear. Teeny tiny fuel cell in there. Radiator. And the full D-Max lineup for your S chassis, JZX needs. There's what we all need, a new rack. And they got S15 as well. Two full-on Pro Pro cars showing that they are about drifting through and through. Oh, you just got, I got those on us. D-Max bag and catalog inside. Backpack's gonna get heavy. And there goes Daichan from Option. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Pro S15, I don't think there's many changes from years prior, but yeah, still good to see S chassis, JZX love here mixed in. This sort of stuff here is kind of what Auto Salon is all about. It's what makes it special anyway. Seeing these full build, you know, cars that I wouldn't ever, I guess, touch or do, but seeing them done to this level, I love it every time. It's so good, look at this rear. Oh man, just slammed, laid out deep. Meister's on there. And next to it, this van is not short on in-car entertainment, but look at this paint. Jeez Louise. How many maskings is all of that? So Nissan Automobile Technical College has this four-door 34, just talking to the guy. And that's made from scratch. I thought it was US overs, you know, bolted on and molded in, but all made from scratch. They were, you know, the project was to refresh the 34. Pretty cool. Check out this hood setup. Interior, they got an upgrade or like a newer model steering wheel, did the dash, did a sunroof, and a clear hood. There you go, why not? And in the same booth, this is a Nissan Cube with an old Datsun, what, 421 or 621, 311 front end grafted onto it. Man, much narrower, but like they made it work. Japan loves the retro fronts on the newer cars. Nissan Cube, old Datsun. And in the Buy Now Japan booth, we got this Techno Toy tuning. That's really cool. 8.6 on the new version, Forged Watts. Gutted proper race car, cage, acrylic windows. Man, they got a whole parts selection laid out there on the floor. Z Legend Star Road out here with, you know, kind of the same cars you've probably seen out a few events, but they are beautiful. Paint is beautiful. Another technical college, Kanto Industrial College, S13 build. Why not? Looks like this has BN, yeah, BN on it. NASR in there, but with prices of turbo SRs these days, I don't blame them. You gotta do what you gotta do. Full cage gutted. Yeah, this is cool. I like that they kept it kind of like true S chassis. JBT brake system, GR86. It's not gonna look impressive from this side. Let me walk around the front and check out this paint. Like charcoaly, dull gray on that side. Oh, this guy's... Timing was terrible. These guys just got there right in time. But yeah, check out this paint. Look at this like heavy, heavy. I really wanna to touch it. But man, it's such like a heavy flake on it. So cool. Engine bay, we got HKS supercharger kit on there, GT2 kit coated or you know painted piping making it really stand out also in the JVT booth got Kisa Awano D1 car 
There she is in the booth over there, signing some autographs. She was in hyperdrive, maybe you remember from that. A few cool bits and bobs on her car here. Look at these like screwed on, riveted on louvers. It's kind of a cool look. And these almost look like vision. These are old carbon it looks like, but like almost look like vision mirrors. That's cool. Hard to make it out, but we're in the damned booth and they got a couple chimneys, but you've never seen a chimney like this. If you're from America, you probably never see a chimney at all, but we got a Lancia Delta front kind of grafted on a chimney. You can see regular chimney shape is, you know, kind of like this bo boxy new version Suzuki Samurai for Americans, but crazy popular here. The mashups never stop. Look at this wide body on it. I have not seen one done in this fashion. That is wild. Normally they're lifted up and stuff like that, but <laughs> super cool. Standing back to appreciate the scale, Shibata Tires is bigger this year again. They just keep going, man. They have their, what is this? The, oh man, I forget what these are called. Anyway, new Infinity Drift Car here last year as well, but this time we do, we have their new Shibata wheels on there, Shibata tires. So Shibata tires, Rydan's brand, heavy truck tires, you know, off-road, all-terrain type tires. They've expanded so much in the past few years. R31 house is the parent company of all that, and it has just grown like crazy. In the Thinkware booth with SPPF, and the models are out, but we're checking out this baby here. Look at this, beautiful paint protected NSX, but what are you taking? You taking the old one? Or are you going new version, which is also equally rare? I see the old ones more on the road than I see the new ones, that's for sure. Everyone's dream Honda right there. And if you look at the wheels, they do look very OEM. Let's get in here close. OEM center caps on NK wheels. 16 by 8 it says in the Valano booth never heard of it don't know what they're about but how about that if that was your desk what a flex full BC and R33 front in there next to a full car this one looks to be like a you know road use road going version got the Nismo wheels on there but there's rock chips on the hood that have been touched up like this thing sees you know regular use it looks like following that up with another 33 this time four door variety wide body. These are the new, what, Volk 21As, I believe they're called. Really cool mesh. 40th anniversary GTR four-door version. And a new Z in a bright blue, red trim. Mm. I'm still going GR86. You know what time it is. You see a lineup like this. It's model time on a new GR86 in the good gun booth maker of stuff and things they got seats they got steering wheels they got lights kind of a parts maker america has made it to japan another jimny these they're wild this year on the what snow tracks maybe made by jimny world crazy to see tracks on a lifted jimny in japan pipe doors why not garage vary with a kind of retro-esque new z standard lip kit version on the wall there and then this is their full and then their full bumper version here. Just peep in the booth here. Side skirts. Little, just little, little bump outs over the fenders. Like five mil, not much, but clean look. You guys are gonna say Steve, you're all over the place this year. But look at this, Caterham. Caterham has a booth. And there's, you know, the old Super 7. What you're used to seeing, but check out this. Project V looking very sleek, supercar-esque. Porsche-esque, like really cool. Caterham Project V. This is a surprise. Very cool. Need to see kind of legendary brands reimagined. Re so an EV Caterham, pretty neat. Wow, check out this lineup. This must be the lineup for the Buy Now Japan, which is probably because Gade Dori Kai is there. Big YouTubers here that pull a huge crowd, and I think this is like a meet and greet sort of thing. Like, tons of people lined up for it. We found him, we found him. It's always the mission to find Hiroshi. Where is Hiroshi? Hey! 
あもしかしてこのこのラインは広し広し誰のり<笑> Not sure the booth is this Rodex but 180SX with works 9 arrow I can dig that that's cool Heck yeah Hey PFO1 Evos love it S14 Zenki Origin arrow Zenu tires Yeah here we go in the option booth Cusco GR Corolla, which we've seen before. HKS GR Corolla on RG4s. The oil can livery, man, one of the best liveries of all time. And Blitz, we saw this at the 86 BRZ style, I believe. But man, these cars are so good. Perfect sports hatchback. And then G-Works in the option booth as well. G-Works being a magazine for the older classics. We've got Restore Parts 86 breakdown here of what they supply and the impeccable 11 fronted two door, sorry, yeah, two door. Beautiful engine bay on the A wraps. Great car. And the Coil Red booth, and if you've seen the channel, the DC2 progress as of late, you'll know I kind of struggle with some Coil Red fitment. Kind of my fault, but yeah, maybe this 100 yen Coil Red, Coil Cools Everything, or everyone, hat makes up for it. You can see the full lineup here. The gist of what I ran into, Type 48 does not fit with air conditioning very well. In America, they sell that Type M, and it's a 36 mil core. In Japan, that's not available, unless it's coming, but if you buy one for your DC2, you're probably gonna get that, it's gonna slip right in. In Japan, though, if you buy that Type F, it takes some work. No hate on them, kind of my fault. Uh, didn't, I don't know, read up enough about them, I just thought it'd drop right in. Not the case if you go with the fat boy. In the Apex booth, different from last year, we got some old classics here. D1 GP car from Yoichi and Imamura that they just kind of revived recently for the RSR event. Tipped it over from America for the event. And like he said, he hadn't driven in like 20 years or something like that. Like <laughs> crazy. Cool to see this thing in person looking good as ever. Vertex on FD, it works. Super period kind of correct look. Speaking of period correct, this model Gram lights especially in the rainbow. Oh man, going crazy in price recently. This is cool to see in person, the Mad Lane. What is this, like a 935? I honestly, I don't know what it is inspired by. I've just been watching this come together on Instagram for like the past few years, building it all from scratch. You know, taking parts and pieces from the original, making molds to make it happen. Like this thing is insane. And it just said like it got crashed into on the way to load in here and they went out and fixed it. It's looking as good as ever, but wow, what a car. BBSs are nuts. Wide body, like crazy amount of work in making this thing. Twin Triple K turbos back there, huge slicks. This thing is nutty in the best way possible. Racing service Watanabe. Got some good watts, big watts. Big watts on the 86 here. SR big turbo V head inside next to Tandem FC on watts. No headlights there. So cool to see such, like, I don't want to say retro, uh, classic, maybe classic at this point. Classic car love here this year. And SR set up to put most Sylvia's to shame. This is wild V head, hyper tuned plenum. Crazy setup. Carbon tubs, man. Monster intercooler core there. So cool. If standard flares aren't enough, look at that. It's got the cool body line on it. That's really neat. I've not seen them like that. Fitting the big boy meats in there. Said it's a G GCG G what 3576 and making like 630, which with that head package, I believe it. Look at the cannons on this one here. And check this out this year, China Pavilion. A lot of your JDM brands, parts and pieces that you know and love. Yeah, they do come from China, but this year they kind of like highlighted it. It's always in its own like kind of special place or off to the side, but like you know, they called it China Pavilion this year, so you can get your parts from China, do your deals here at Auto Salon. And speaking of China, BYD, electric car manufacturer from China, huge presence here as well. And I've seen one of these out on the road. And this brand is really pushing hard to get into Japan. They have this little like retro private, smaller shop, private owner section, I don't know what you want to call it, but man, super cool, Hakoska, super clean. Spotless engine bay, Wonder 3500. So, from Mie Prefecture, shop is Wonder. 
But yeah, it's like a cool little lineup of smaller producers. MSY Garage with a beautiful four-door 34 with Mazora, like color changing paint. Oh, it's showing up in the camera. It's so good. Beautiful car. Love the wide body on it. Got a work, I think ZR10's on it for the wheels. Caged as well. Look at this thing in the light. Look at this color change. We're at blue, it's gonna go purple, but check out the orange. Orange, purple, gold, like, it is not blue to purple. It's like every color, wild. And a white version right next to it, but this one with more like in the pearl. It's crazy color change. And hey, why not? Some love for a Z33, love to see it. Coast motoring booth, to be honest, I don't know. But they're revealing very dramatically a Challenger. But check those wheels. I kind of dig the wheels. Oh yeah, there we go. Models are out. Another trend or, you know, kind of something very popular at the moment is camping cars or RVs as they're called here. A little section over here for them. This is cool to see. I guess we kind of have a model out. But the origin booth pulling a crowd. Reverse S15, JZX next to it, S13 next to that. All of them sporting the new Driftline Arrow. I don't want to say it's inspired by BN, but it kind of, just for explanation's sake, has a BN-ish look to it, but it's kind of like a hybrid of like their aggressive, you know, Euro-style arrow and then BN. I don't know, it's really cool, really clean. It's nice to see them get away from all the extra little, you know, vents and canards and everything they put on the front bumpers and side skirts recently. Traditional clean look to it. So InStyle S13 on Driftline and JZX Chaser. JZX 100 Chaser on Driftline as well. I'm really about this updated arrow line. And these are the, I mentioned them a lot earlier at the Valino booth. These are the Nauka Spec Forge version multi-piece. Really cool look to them. Go Speed Racer, go. Base car looks to be a Suzuki Copen. Full on conversion. Something also very popular in Japan is like kind of imitating US logo company brand, stuff like that. Craft Sports here. This makes sense. The year of the legal to import 34 is upon us. So, might as well have a full display of 34s. All the special models, 400R, R33, V-Spec, Tommy Kyra, Millennium, Jade, and then Nurse-Spec down there. How do you feel about Tommy Kyra, Aero? Basically for any any car, Subarus, 34s, always uh, controversial. Most expensive booth display? Add it up, tell me. Kino Kuni booth, 50th anniversary apparently, but man, good to see the Run Max. Run Max Jimny here. Saw this originally 2015. So cool to see it back out here. Might as well keep their like kind of flagship cool demo car, SR under the bonnet. Just had a good chat with them at Kinokuni. Apparently Kinokuni is the original name for Wakayama Prefecture. Didn't know that, but anyway. This is like, just to shed some light on it, it's the company that has like all the fittings, the heat sleeve, the, you know, quick disconnects, aero catch type hood releases, like all those parts to finish a car, Kinokuni supplies. Uh, so it's kind of like this company that's in the background in Japan tuning, but they supply like everything you need to finish your car. Veilside booth with the new Z. GTR Cedric? Interesting to see Cedric. A Cedric. Why not a Cedric? What's up? Amazing in Japan. Good grief. Oh, the models. The models are out over there. But this is the model we came to see. Marco Auto Culture. Yeah, how you doing, man? Go check out Auto Culture Instagram and YouTube. Good stuff. Oh, good to get some fresh air in between the halls. It was about two and a half hours to get through the first hall and three more to go. So in about 37 hours, we should be done. Let's continue on next hall. This one, we got the big boys. Hey, Blitz, here you go. FL5 in the Blitz booth. Unfortunately, I'm not sure besides maybe some Aero editions, what exactly they've got going on for it. Also in the booth is some, uh, you know, the very popular large minivans that are the craze in Japan right now. So we just got these additional arrow bits added on in silver. 
NK wheels on there. Good to see some FL5 love. Might be the first one I've seen at the show so far. Surprisingly, really surprisingly. Core splits exhaust on there. Might as well take advantage of the three outlet design and make one of them kind of look special. Here's what y'all really care about. They got workwear on sale. You got the full one piece Tsunagi 10,000 yen blitz on the back. Woo! In the trust booth, we got a couple GTRs, kind <laughs> of like a wrap sticker bomb version. A little more specked out blue over there. And then a new Z. Good to see this. Got some under the hood bits. Looks like a piping kit, suction kit, and a TDO5 18G twin turbo kit on there. So the new Z getting some love, typical Gretty fashion. And a Gretty lip kit on there, full carbon, of course, similar to the GR86 style. But this one doesn't say Voltex on it, so maybe. So maybe working with another manufacturer to make it happen or doing it themselves, but some clean little side spats there, under under canards, whatever you want to call it, under panels, the rear spoiler, some rear valence little add-ons. An out of the car look at the 18G kit for the new Z. Manifolds, intakes, wastegates, intercooler, the full shebang. Need to see Grady working with Tile to kind of update their wastegate offerings. But full welded out manifold, not cast. Grady, trust going big this year. The Moontech built, this is the Kaiza wide body E36. But interestingly, there's a Grady search tank on there. Grady turbo as well, but I'd be interested. Is this like, you know, used or kind of reconverted from a RB26 version? Or do they make one for the, what is this, S52? BMW parts coming from Gretty. That's really cool. Maybe 25G. And a down the body look at the profile, the wide body. The rear is where it gets interesting. It just flows kind of straight down to the ground instead of tucking back to the car. Crazy wide. Can't emphasize that enough. Crazy wide. But check out this interior. Full like Alcantara suede wrap, green and dark. Or sorry, dark green and tan beige. <laughs> very, very complete, complete car. Super complete build. Look at the wheels, details from the wide body tucking back to the tail lights and the headlights like that. Crazy detail. Gritty is etched on the exhaust tips as well, but a good look at the body going back the other way. One clear shot at it. And from HK, it feels like GTR tuning is being pushed a little harder this year. Lots of GTRs showing up in the boost. Big exhaust there from them. HK surge tank, little engine on display. Booth always pulling a crowd with all the exhaust pieces and everything. If you made it this far, do me a big favor. At least hit the like button, share it with a friend. If you like the channel, check out the rest of the videos on the channel. If it's for you, hey, maybe think about subscribing. And yeah, thumbs up or comment really helps out. Mitsubishi booth. I should be looking at the vehicles, but nothing really up my alley. I guess they have a new truck coming out because trucks are now big in Japan. Check out this snow display. It's all styrofoam carved out. That's awesome. Kansai service. Again, another GTR on display. Feels like there's more GTRs here. I could be wrong. The lineup of parts from Kansai Service. Didn't realize they had, I knew they had the strut bars and stuff like that, but I didn't realize they had all this other stuff. And some mats and some aero bits as well. Very cool. From Forte, I, I don't know anything about the company. I just realized that's a C8 Corvette in the loudest like tangerine color shifting-ish color, flaky color. Look at the wide body. That's not stock, is it? Like this is insane. Rear end just as crazy. And from this angle here, I get really third gen Camaro vibes. Really, really third gen Camaro. Justin, you have your mission. <laughs> Look at this engine bay. For all the mini people out there. There's no space to get anything done in these things. So crazy how tight they are. Fully built. And that, you know, it's typical mushroom filter. Looks massive on this thing. And lift up style is a thing now. And look at these, you got a big rays on there. ALAP 05Xs, I believe. 
cheeky segue, if you do need wheels from Japan, new or used, you can hit me up at JDM Wheels Co. JDM Wheels Co is the website as well, jdmwheels.co. All the way up in the ceiling at the Varus booth. This was the Rundus GR86 last year. Now it's Rundus New Z, carrying over some of the cues from the GR86 style. Big check and the same similar lip style. Fender treatments, big vents, so much carbon, and some over fenders out back, get a full shot of it here, we got a clear second, that looks pretty cool. Interesting how high or forward the wing mounts are, it seems like it's way up there, but stopping kind of right at the rear profile of the car. Yes, here's what I was really excited to see, their GR Corolla. I saw this on Instagram and it was looking super promising. And this thing looks amazing. Look at this hood. Heck yeah, if you're not afraid of water in your bay, <laughs> that's a sick hood. Lip spoiler. Hey, the, the S pluses we just looked at, T37s, sides. And how about this wing spoiler? Is that exaggerated OEM? Is that OEM or is this all Varus. I'm not sure about that one. Garage G-Force, maybe in conjunction with them. The little treatments down there as well. Goods keep coming from Varus. FL5, proper Honda style with stencils. Stencils on the tire. Big GT wing. Changing the profile from the stock style wing. Probably using the same mounting points. Down low, we got some little underspats, side skirts. Let's get up front here. Big vented hood as well. Yeah, how good is that? Front end, really clean as well. All right, Amamiya, we have made it to Rotary Corner. I will go kind of quick around the ones we saw last year. Starting it off with the classic FB very like period style, even though those are the new NK wheels. The PF06, I believe they are. You got the huge whale tail on there, molded in. And then a replica of their D1 car. Same livery and stuff, just not anywhere near as crazy. Interior is just like half stripped and stuff like that. But wearing same livery and arrow. And some, and some pure, and some pure Ari Amamiya FD goodness. <laughs> Trimmed out with all their bits, looking, looks super good, can't go wrong. And the heavily reworked Roadster has 13B twin turbo setup. Response is the name of the game, it says. Look at that front end swap on it. I do kind of dig the front fenders. A lot of people this year. Feels like definitely more than last year. Excellent, like, I'm gonna say like Neo Classic FC. Got the newer, you know, spec wheels. Love that rear wing. Let me know what that is. Under canards from RE Amamiya. Look at this thing. So good. In the engine bay. In a two rotor. But yeah, with the headlight covers or conversion. Arrow, it's just like, Classic FC. So if you watch Time Attack and you're familiar with the Auto Rescue FD, this is from Ando-san, Yabatan Ando. He just put this car together as kind of a replica, it seems a replica of the old RE Amamiya. I'm not sure what it was originally, just caught it on Instagram, but yeah, check out those, check out those Regas, baby. So good. Wide body. And then, bumper. Rotary Roadster, pink converted convertible top or removed top FD. Super proper engine base setup on the looking FD. It's gonna be hard to get around with all the people, but we've seen this arrow before on the channel. One of my favorite FD arrow kits. So kind of like OEM simple. My favorite RX-8, the proportions on this thing are just perfect. 
nice and wide, wheels pushed out, meaty tires, looks proper circuit, big canards, big opening, like love this RX-8. Photo ops with the man himself, Amamiya son. So we have a GT86 rear from STF, wide body, it's almost, almost GP sports this, sports-ish, but not. Some fenders up here. Oh, we got the updated front end up front. 3D print lab. So I'm not sure how much or what is 3D printed. Maybe they're trying to display that they 3D printed the whole front conversion on there. But yeah, pretty cool. Technology's coming along. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mockingly said on Instagram that we wouldn't see any DC2s here, but holy cow, who is this? Up garage, bring in the goods. Got a DC2, it's got the rear spats on there, it's got the Type R optional, not even Type R, but the optional side steps there with the raised portion. Sunroof, so this might be a DC1, not Type R. Oh, left hand drive, Acura, there you go. Holy cow. Let's see what is going on up front. And a case swap, holy cow. Did not expect to see anything like this here. Let alone, I guess, up garages booth. We've got Titan seven wheels, stop tech brakes, super USDM car, maybe brought over for the show. I'm not sure, unless someone, you know, when Japanese replicate USDM style, they do it perfectly. So it could be, could be all built in Japan. I don't know. I'm just like blown away right now to actually see an Integra here. Yeah, Integra. Pull the crowd. YouTubers pulling a crowd. Another YouTuber, it's like Red S15 or something like that. But anyways, big DIY guy shows you how to do DIY stuff on your cars. Swoon. Top secret with a big booth this year. Good to see. 35 GTRs. That looks like we got a BNR32 over there. And a BNR32. Definitely heavy on the 35s though. Top secret. 34 GTR. Ooh. Beautiful. Cruich, what do they have for us this year? Kind of like drag, specialty, GTR, specialty dealership shop from Mie Prefecture. They got a retro front end for a new Z. Something different, always something different. And their drag Z34 we saw last year. This was all raw aluminum last year. Now it's been painted to match. Let's see what they got in the rear. Just the essentials. So R35 GTR skeleton here. And what they're showing off is R35 V R engine with a R34 GTR six speed transmission. This was OS Geek and sequential, but then they went through and adapted to fit the, then they retrofitted the rest of the R34 subframe and everything to fit in the 35. If I'm understanding it all correctly, they built the jig plate to kind of get it all lined up. And voila, you have a manual transmission R35, automatic transmission converted to six speed, four wheel drive, manual transmission R35 here. This is kind of the opposite of what they were showing last year, which was a R34 GTR. I don't know if it on display this year. Yeah, over there. So they've essentially flipped it. And what they were showing off last year was the R34 GTR that has been retrofitted with the R35 gearbox and transaxle. So now they've gone both ways. Manual transmission 35, and then the auto rear transaxle mounted 34. And if you own both cars, you can just switch them. There you go, no parts required. In the works bell booth, I didn't realize they made steering wheels, but like this feels, feels solid, feels good. Like if you want a Nardi, you know, I like Nardis because it feels so solid. These feel really good. Didn't know they made steering wheels. And the generation of car we're in, they also make these adapters for all your buttons that are normally steering wheel mounted so you can put your aftermarket wheel on but keep your buttons. They probably have an adapter for you. From the Bridgestone booth, Mines 34. That is sick. Lots of Mines carbon bits on it. A little trunk flap. Side mirrors. Mines livery. So good. A lot of people I probably don't know Bridgestone 
mixed wheels as well. Potenza lineup of wheels, forged lightweight, not cheap quality stuff. Got some pro drives there. More carbon. Look at those brakes, baby. Huge AP racing calipers on this thing. Mines. If you're looking for the GR86s and BRZs, check the other video on the channel. I'll separate those out just to keep this a little bit shorter and give those their own space because, again, this year a good turnout showing of them. In the Cusco booth, Red Bull Racing, Rovampera, Formula D Japan, 2J powered GR Corolla, nutty build. Looks like three printed intake there. Wild, wild build. Acoustical builds like really cool quality, kind of forward thinking cars when they put these things together. So I really need to see. I wonder if this uses their modular front hubs that they built for like the S chassis. I do believe it probably does. Flat mounted radiator out back. Look at that ducting. And then look at this rear window treatment. Open ducting down into the radiator. This thing is really cool. Proper Red Bull livery really adds something to it too, but cool for Really neat that Cusco's, you know, working with them on that level. Of course, from the underside, quick change. This thing is pro. In the NK booth, proper Super GT race car. And you get up close to these, it's just nutty what's going on. Like the over fenders there. Look at these square cutouts on the side profile. Total air cavity down there to flow out. But then they have the vertical with all these different swishes and inlets and outlets and, you know, deflectors and diffusers and it's just crazy how much goes into controlling airflow on these things you have some more of the square cutouts there around the wheel wheel like what is that that little step design so cool a wild another kaiza e36 here this one went way under the radar i guess i don't know the moon tech one from trust really got the spotlight but yeah, here it is again in M3 colorway. Super interesting kit. The rear on the, it's, it's so wide. Speaking of wide rear, geez, look at this R34. The rear is way out there. Man, special request, we are in cool truck row here. But look at this, it's a K24. This is not the K24D that I know and I have but wildly put together, crazy huge header on there, intake off that little throttle body, like non-performance car, but performance like built out. Really interesting look there. Cool stainless top core support there. Interior as well. Decked out in gray energy seats. Rears cut for fuel cell. Damn, airbags. Rocket Bunny, the wild. These are like the super small niche market vehicles you don't expect to see get the full like main stage show. So yeah, Pandem, Donut Media, Toyo, like everyone put some effort into this thing. And right next to it, even more extreme. This is a Hilux though. So wild 2J in there, no filter. An AT it looks like. Rocket Bunny coil pack plate. Man. Paint on this one, pretty rad. Wide body, just never expected to see that, but getting out back, this is where it's fully nutty. So this is all like stainless steel pipe for like exhaust, I'm guessing. It's not, you know, like DOM roll bar tubing. It's thin wall piping done up in like this Baja exoskeleton style, polished out, definitely catches the eye. I would assume there's a rear fender version for this truck too, uh, but instead they opted to go rear rad and full nutty down there. Super clean OEM-ish interior gauge setup there. Hydro, <laughs> bud dry, full tap shifter. Better look at the engine bay from this side. Deep motor intake plenum it says, wow. Not what you would expect to see. Let's finish off truck row strong here with the sunny. Get the original A15, A12, A something in there. And some more over fender goodness. 
One off coilover set up there, not on bags. Hardcore. Cool. The TRA Kyoto kit car. Should get in here and see what's going on. We got Part Shop Max, angle kit on there, one off cross member for the steering rack. Just says TRA Kyoto on the top bar there, no indication of model name. Look at all this like square steel bolted together through the tube. This is all FRP, FRP made for this thing, FRP. I guess the side, the verticals might be aluminum, but yeah, this is all the fairing kind of stuff is all FRP. More, it looks like Part Shop Max gold in there. Look at the, like, the plate, the plate laser cut, you know, this to it. Interesting. Huge, huge wing on it. Can't really state that enough. It is massive. You got the like threaded rod for supports in between there. Built in like a really unique way, really pass through tube style, but like this is removable and that bolts on. So like, instead of just welding the full, you know, kind of like monocoque body and making all this welded out and plated off. It's kind of made as if like you designed it in a computer, you had all the pieces laser cut and then you just assembled it yourself, kind of like a Lego set to build a crazy, crazy one-off car. Oh man, another one I didn't expect to see here, an EG drag setup, Gato Performance. That brings back memories of KE24KET.org days. It's, man, 15 years ago? That's wild. Skunk 2 valve cover on there, Hotsport mounts, huge Garrett turbo. Unfortunately, no specs on it, just says it's a 2.4 liter. Transmission's painted, turbo smart. It's wild. Not, not what you expect to see in Japan. Super detailed though, like if this is a drag show car, <laughs> I'm with it. If it's gonna be actually used for drag racing, that's cool. Turbo's not plumbed right now, but it looks the part, wow. It is right-hand drive. Interior's just as clean. Sub, the old Solo Barak in there. Looking at it closer, the dashboard is recovered, like restitched in leather. The door panels are recovered. It looks like there used to be a matching rear seat in there. I don't know if they're just like switching it from maybe like show car build to more performance build, but it, you see stitching in there. This thing had some work to it. That's wild. We got some big skinnies on the rear as well. <laughs> totally nutty. Yeah, more 180 goodness. Car Modify Wonder with an updated kit for 180SX. This is new arrow. Not seen this before. <laughs> New fenders as well. Again, high quality aero parts. I do kind of dig the front bumper. It's had a take on what they used, you know, their other style is. Lots of details, always details in their kits. But yeah, the hood is sick. Paint is really cool. Intense, like intense sparkle on the silver. Good to see some 180 love out here. Right next to that, moving to a newer chassis, M Sports, another OG aero maker, really cool. Again, to see kind of, you know, adapting to new cars. Because that's the era we're in right now. We got to start finding the new ones. This one also has the like <laughs> side, side canards, whatever you want to call them, the side of the car. But yeah, forged carbon, super wide. Forged carbon wing, really neat. Moving into the next hall, three of four. So much stuff here, I'm, getting, I'm not covering it at all. You know, there's a bunch of videos from this, so watch everyone's. You're gonna see something different in all of them. It's, there's just so much stuff. Now we're in Drifty Row, I love it. King Gucci driven Lexus. Just some 2JZ prawn there, good grief. Good looking setup. Is this 22B flexing here? We got three two door, GC8s lined up next to each other. Wide body in the back, up front. Don't know enough about them to give you anything particular, but man, they're cool. Y Square booth again this year. I asked them, they make headlight replacements. No DC2 yet, but I put the request in. He said, okay. He's had requests, but not making them yet. A very unstandard 326 power, Mitsudo power car. Cool to see a Ferrari. 
I mean, when you figure most owners probably just drive them as kind of a status symbol and don't do anything with them. Like if you're not taking them to a racetrack, you're just driving them stock form. Might as well have some fun with it. It's cool to see someone doing something different with a car like this. Gen 1 Z34 is getting some love over here. I'm gonna say Gen 1 because the new Z is built on the same chassis, but yeah, another Mitsuda power car, but they, these are popping up all over the show. What a mashup, Hakoska with Mitsuda power wheels on it. Very, very fitted. Vertex out here with their D1 car, and I was really hoping to see a completed G R86, but I guess not this year. When you think VIP car, this is the look that comes to mind, at least for me. I love the super worked fenders. Look at this door. Door built out with the opening over the new fender. Mega BBSs with spares in the back seat. But this thing, yeah, that is, that's rad. Manual swapped with the cage and gauges in there. This thing might get down. Those used to be like the budget 1J car, but they're even going up in price because it has a 1J in it. Euros booth, two generations of R34 sedans here. The nostalgic retro Nomaken car and then the Nomaken Junior Pro car. 2J inside. What's your aero preference? Old classic, subtle wide body, or the real bulbous, much wider style. This new stuff I think is super cool. It's neat that they keep like reinventing a chassis that they have so figured out. But yeah, crazy wide with the flare. And how good are these? I used to want a set of techno speeds so bad. So cool. That can only mean one thing, rally goodness. It seems like recently a bunch of rally cars keep popping up at these events. I don't know if it's because like Rally Japan is making a big push or what, but there's like these nostalgic, you know, throwback rally cars that keep popping up. Look at the restrictor on that guy. Man, CT20 BRB. Old school tune. What started as a Suzuki Mighty Boy has become a Ken Mary mashup type homage. Absolutely laid out Hummer, why not? Track bikes on top. No roof with a rack built out the top. The front end saying not Hummer. The plaque says Escude. I don't know what Escude is, but yeah, it's super wide. Mugen FL5 Group B. Arrow looks similar in design to last year. Hood is radical. Aggressive fenders, side steps, rear wing. Yeah, really changes the rear profile of the car. Lots of good carbon bits on there. Holy moly. Single, like, thick wall tip out the back. Maybe some BBS Mugen wheels. It looks similar to BBS. Yeah, there we go. BBS marking on there. F1 car? F1 looking? Is this like F Formula 3 or something? Like, it's unbelievable. This thing is massive. Front to back, massive. Like, it's hard. You don't, you don't think they're that big. You watch Drive to Survive, they don't look that big, but wow, if this is full scale, it's crazy long. I mean, if I can walk it off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's like 16 feet long. Going heel to toe, my foot's about one foot. That's crazy huge. Tires are just massive. Oh yeah, Perez and Verstappen, that's F1, baby. Holy moly, what was that? I had no idea these things were that big. I'm just geeking out on it. More proper Honda race car. Carbon goodness, gosh. These things are so good.
I'm just here to look at the aero. I don't actually watch the racing, but man, these cars are so cool to look at up close. Track spec BC and R33. ZE40's on it. Cage, get it interior. Oh yeah, multi, multi-point cage. Unparalleled on the license plate, so maybe prep to maintain there. Forged carbon hood, wow. Well, uh, maybe truck of the show. Suzuki Every Carry, or Suzuki Carry Base. Wow, <laughs> look at that amp rack for passenger seat. Fully resprayed, white interior. That's where it's at. Full bed sides. This thing's nutty. Got the tonneau cover and a removable insert to show off the goods. Even the gas tank's all painted out. This is rad. Love the love the side profile of it. Not sure what the van is over there. Totally nutty. But look at this Fuga. I think it's a Fuga base. Heavily, heavily reworked, added on silhouette Fuga. Another tech school project. So much effort into making this thing. It's huge. Try and peek in here. What is this? I want to see the engine. Four cylinder. Is that a Hayabusa motor? I got a huge Hoosiers. <laughs> it's wild. Totally gutted center seat, if there was a seat. Nutty. In the cool booth, their cool lineup, the Prius. There's a surprising number of Priuses here. This one laid out, but the headlights on these. Toyota's been kind of killing it with the headlights recently. Making, making some good headlights. In cool fashion, if you have the standard non-wide body version, then there's of course the mega wide body version. So wide body Prius. So cool this year, kind of going more, besides this wild GTR, going more daily driver spec. Change color, every year they just change color in all their cars. Um, but yeah, we got Priuses and vans. No 8.6s or new Zs of the years past. It's a Mini with more than meets the eye. The banner says VTEC Mini. And B-Series, baby. Air conditioning in the trunk. The owner's here, he said it's just, you know, lightweight, powerful, looks cool. Really, really well done. Whoa, yeah, there you go. So yeah, the AC compressor is electric, power driven. Oh, electric power steering. The Depi meter. Oh, karui. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Here's a shop. W, where is that? W Works? I almost bypassed this road because there's a sea of Hiluxes over there, but tucked between the Hiluxes. We have an Amuse R1 Titan muffler, Civic Type R. R1 Titan, titanium exhaust, made in Japan on the FL5. Euros Arrow on JZX100. I can dig it. That's good looking 100 there. More trucks, Land Cruiser, Hiluxes, all the good stuff. It's a segment that's really, really gaining steam. Tucked unassumingly in this row, full carbon Porsche. Holy moly. Inside, outside the doors. The back seat, three cheese Louis. Bulkhead E style rear seat delete panels fitted. That's wild. Engine bay does not disappoint either. Beautiful car. It's just tucked in here. For AWS on the license plate. Magarigawa Club is a private circuit built out in Chiba. Uh, kind of like a you know golf course has its private membership. So this they made like a scale model of it. Circuit layout down here, hairpin, up and around, clubhouse. Yeah, really, kind of one of those things like, wow, is that a thing? But apparently, it's a thing. It's cool to see it built out like this. Lotus electric SUV. But I am. Using technology to enhance your driving experience pretty taken by that green that's not showing up good on camera at all. <laughs> Tucked away in the GR Heritage Parts corner of the Toyota booth. We got a 6 corner light and tail lights coming back. How about this? Tom's bringing out an A80 Supra. 
Maybe the only one at the show? Liberty Walk booth. Ready clams, camel couplers. Liberty Walk F40 pulling a crowd as it does. New build from this year, just recolored. And because an F40 wasn't enough, why not do a Countach as well? Liberty Walk Z, and then this replica Countach, or replica F40 is a Mazda AZ1. That they made a miniature, you know, scaled down version of the F40. As you can see, absolutely packed around here, so I'm gonna give up trying to get shots of it. Check out their social media. It's all on there. It's all over the internet, but always doing crazy stuff. <laughs> if supercars aren't enough, you might as well do a full on semi <laughs> Liberty Walk. Insane. Toyota <laughs> Tires booth. Legends on stage. Yo, Robbie. Mad Mike. How about a. Mad Mike's wagon here? Four rotor NA that is labeled as being a D1 car. That is wild. Two spoke wheels. Look at that. In a four rotor. This thing can't weigh much, but it's got a cage and everything. It's got the windshield banner. Super sick, wide body. Man, I'm a sucker for a wagon. This is a good wagon. Excited to see what happens with this thing, but totally wild, wild build. It's got a floor pan and it's all bulkheaded out so smoke's not getting in. Seems like it's gonna do the thing. So it won't be a full season kind of demo here and there, but still, what a wild build for a D1 car. Appreciate you watching. If you'd leave a like, that'd really help me out. Comment even better, share it the best. But yeah, really appreciate you watching. Check out the channel, see if it's for you. Subscribe if it is. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Much love, be well. In the trust booth. In the Shibata booth. And a down the body. Oh, come on. And then the Rundus GR86.